In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use YouTube for affiliate marketing as a beginner. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, it's Alston and welcome to my channel where I help you find success online. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to learn different tips and tricks on how to find success online. All right, so as I just mentioned, I am going to show you and tell you step-by-step -step how you can use YouTube for affiliate marketing as a beginner. YouTube is a great opportunity for someone that is interested in affiliate marketing or just getting started with affiliate marketing for a number of reasons. One, you there, it's keyword search friendly, so you can type in keywords and, and find uh, and create content based on what people are interested in. You can kind of get found on accident, basically with suggested or recommended. If if people look over and you have got an interesting thumbnail or title, they can click on your link and they can become followers. And actually because it's video marketing, video marketing, it's much easier for people to know, like, and trust you versus blogging or even podcasting where they can only hear you. So without further ado, let's take a look at how you can use YouTube for your affiliate marketing business. Step number one, pick a niche. Now basically a niche is an area that you are going to create content. The most popular areas are health, wealth, relationships, and technology. Now, while those are the most popular, there are a number of other niches that are out there that can and will work. If you are an artist, if you like to make music, if you even like to make drinks, um, there are different opportunities for you. There are millions of people that are searching uh, how to mix a vodka tonic or whatever drink that is out there. Uh, and just think there are 3.5 billion people that have access to the internet that are all searching different things or, or they're looking for uh, content, they're looking to be entertained. Uh, they're just looking for video that can help them through the day. And so again, you pick a niche regardless of what it is. Uh, one one pro tip that I'm going to mention is to make sure that you niche down. And basically what niching down is, it's the art of, instead of just talking about yoga, it's maybe going down to um, hot yoga or goat yoga and talking about uh, some of those things down there. The reason why you want to niche down is because everybody is going to be talking about yoga or how to lose weight or how to build muscle or whatever, but there will be fewer people competing for goat yoga or how to lose 10 pounds if you're a single mother or if you work full time. There will be less people that are competing for that that type of content or that type of keyword. So just know that in order to find success, in order to make money with affiliate marketing, you will probably have to niche down. There are a number of different ways that you can approach niching down. Um, I, I recommend keyword research, which I'll talk about in just a moment, but go into the mindset that you aren't going to just try and compete for the most popular, how to make more money online, uh, don't try and compete for uh, how to lose 10 pounds. You want to make sure that you dig deep and you really provide value. You really help people out. All right. So that's number one, pick a niche. Number two is keyword research. Now keyword research is the art of finding what people are searching for online. There are a number of ways to do it. The best way and the most efficient way, believe it or not, is to use the, the YouTube search engine or the YouTube search function in order to find keywords. And basically what you're going to do is uh, now that you've picked a niche, for example, we're going to say goat yoga is going to be our our topic you're going to go into the youtube search bar and you're going to type in goat yoga space a that's called alphabet soup anyone that's been around affiliate marketing for a while knows about alphabet soup but since you're a beginner this is great information for you so basically what you're going to do is you're going to type in goat yoga space a and then you're going to write down or copy or screenshot all of the topics that come up you're going to do that for every letter do it both for the front, the, the prefix and the postfix, so that you can get a good list of topics of what people are searching for. That's what you're going to create content on. You're going to create content on whatever comes up under Goat Yoga A, uh, Goat Yoga B. The reason why you're going to do this is because this is what people are searching for. All right, continuing on. That is uh, the second step, uh, keyword research. The third step is to create content. Now, when you create content on YouTube, it's a little bit different because you have to create the content. You also have to create a description. You're going to also have to create a thumbnail and a um, a title. What I personally like to do is I like to use the, the, the keywords that I found for my title. I like to put some variety in the um in the thumbnail. And then I also like to repeat my keyword in the description multiple times in order to uh, make sure that it, it ranks or it gets recognized by the algorithms as addressing or answering the, the, the keyword search that cost consumers are looking for. So, um, 
getting back to content creation, basically you're just going to make YouTube videos around the keywords that you that you found. What I recommend is at least 20 pieces of content before you even start looking at trying to, to monetize or make money. Obviously it can be a little bit more. Most likely it's going to be a little bit, uh, obviously it's going to, it can be a lot less, but most likely it's going to be a lot more. You're going to have, you want to have the mindset that you create a hundred pieces of content, a hundred YouTube videos, uh, in the uh, the niche that you selected. So in this in this example, it's goat yoga. You're going to want to create a hundred pieces of content. Here's some examples of the type of content that that you want might want to create. And this is assuming that you're in the technology technology niche. Um, unboxing. So if I um, let's say this camera here. Um, you could do an unboxing on this Rebel camera. You can take it apart, uh, talk about each part. You know the boxing, the the continents, continents of the 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 box, and so on. Then you want to do like a product review. So maybe um, take a thousand pictures with with that camera with different lenses on it, and do a product review. You can talk about lenses that fit, uh, the best lens. Um, you can do. Um, product preview. So if there's a new lens that's coming out, maybe there's an upgrade of this type of camera, you you definitely want to create content around that. Um, also do a how-to video. This would be great. I know that I do a lot of searching. For example, you could say how to record videos with this camera. There are millions of people that are searching this very information. It may seem like common sense. It may seem, you know, dumb or beneath you, but believe it or not, there are millions of people that are searching how to record video with the Canon Rebel T6. That's the type of camera this is. Um, anyway, go on with the mindset that you're, you're going to create at least 20 pieces of content. You'll probably need closer to 100 in order to start finding success. Now, once you've done that, um, and, and I recommend actually creating um, and posting every day or every other day, you want to you want to post frequently so that you show YouTube that you are a a member of the the community that you are an active participant that you are contributing that you are giving more than you're getting because that is the only way that you'll find success creating 20 pieces of content is great 100 pieces of content is a lot better because you it gives yourself 100 pieces 100 opportunities to find success it only takes one video to blow up it only takes one video um, to do very well to get a number of subscribers to get a bunch of people that are buying your content um, and then when you think about your thumbnails, you want to make sure that you are creating something that is engaging, that captures the, the consumer's attention and uh, make sure that it's concise. You want to make sure that you have no more than I would say like seven words. It really all depends uh, on, on your on your audience, but you want to make sure that it stands out against the other thumbnails that are going to be um, showing up next to around the the content that you're creating. So also think about that uh, when you are creating your your content. Think about your thumbnails. Think about your title. Think about your description, and think about your content. This all goes into a nice package, and the people that are successful successful on YouTube have figured out uh, for the most part how to package and present this material. So that is the most important part is content. Finally, when you're creating content, make sure that you are beyond helpful. You wanna make sure that you answer the question thoroughly and go in with the idea that you are going to add value to someone's life. Uh, if you're creating content around this camera, make sure that you provide so much information about the um, regarding the unboxing that people feel compelled to uh, take action that you're directing them to take. Make sure that you always uh, include in your video to check out the links in the description. That's called a call to action. Set a call to action um, so that you can start making money. If you don't tell them to click the link in the description, if you don't tell them to buy now or, or whatever it is, most likely they're not going to do it. They're gonna to go to the next video and that next person will. So don't think that you are being a scammy or spammy or whatever. Tell them to click the link in the description to learn more about this camera. And, and there will be a portion of people that do that. They'll look at the camera on Amazon or wherever you're sending them and then they will buy or they may buy. Um, so know that going in. So once you have created content, I recommend um, one final thing with, with, with creating content. I keep saying one final thing, but make sure that you set up your upload defaults. Now this will change depending on uh, when you view this content. But if you set up your upload default with affiliate links and, and subscribe, it makes it much easier than having to go through and do it all over again. 
So spend an extra 10 or 15 minutes and configure your upload defaults because every time you upload a new video, that information will be automatically attached to your video. So do that, um, include your affiliate links in your upload defaults and you won't have to think about it or worry about it ever again. All right, so speaking of affiliate links, uh, make sure at this point, now that you've started creating content, you've got 20 pieces of content up, uh, go find affiliate networks. Now, everyone's going to tell you to use Amazon Associates or ClickBank or JVZoo or uh, one other one, but there are thousands of affiliate networks out there or affiliate programs out there. Uh, a lot of them pay much better than the ones that I've mentioned. Uh, for example, if you just Google your niche and affiliate program, there will be uh, tons of different ones that pop up. For example, most recently I looked up basketball affiliate program and they had uh, different trainings, basketball, athletic gear. There was just a myriad of options that are out there. So don't just go for the, the easiest thing, which is Amazon Associates. Spend an extra 10 or 15 minutes and find a program that works for you. Another cool thing about working directly with companies is that you can actually negotiate with them at a later date. So let's say you, you bring in an extra million dollars to this company. At one point you could rene renegotiate and say, Hey, look, I'm giving you guys an extra million dollars and I'm only getting 8%. Is, it in, is there any way that you can bump this up to 10 or 15% or else I'm looking at possibly switching affiliate networks that I'm working with? If you're working directly with um, medium-sized companies, they may be willing to negotiate with you because you're bringing in a million dollars or more that they don't necessarily have access to before. Um, so look for affiliate programs other than Amazon. Uh, there are just a number of different options that are out there. Don't don't just go for the, the low hanging fruit. All right, so we have picked a niche, keyword research, we have created content, we have found affiliate products. At this point, this is where you would add your affiliate links into your description. Now, when it comes to your description, you wanna make sure that you thoroughly write what the the video is going to be about. Make sure that you add in your keyword a few different times. Don't do keyword stuffing. Um, and then make sure that you add in a call to action. To learn more about the Canon Rebel T6, click this link in the description. That link can take them to the affiliate offer, the affiliate um, program that you're working with. A better way to do this, a more efficient way to do it, a, a way to make more money is to, instead of sending them directly to the affiliate offer or the affiliate link, send them to a landing page. Uh, the landing page will collect their email address and then after it collects their email address, it will send them to the affiliate offer. So let's use Amazon for an example. I create a piece of content and then I say, click the link in the description to learn more about the Canon Rebel T6. The customer consumer clicks the link and instead of it going directly to Amazon, it takes them to a page that you've set up and, it, and the page will say, uh, enter your email address to get 101 tips on the Canon Rebel T6 that nobody knows about. The customer in enters in their email address and then the next page they see is a thank you page. And then on the page it says, click this link to go to uh, the Canon Rebel T6 on Amazon. Now the reason why you need to collect their email address, and this is pivotal, pivotal if you are a, a beginner to affiliate marketing, is there's no guarantee that your customer is going to come back and see your next video. Uh, affiliate marketing, email marketing con converts at twice the rate of affiliate marketing. And it takes between five and 12 touch points before a customer becomes a buyer. So you want to make sure that you are collecting the email address so that you can follow up with them and add additional value at a later date. So you could email them tomorrow automatically with an autoresponder and say, hey, I just want to make sure that you got this 101 Canon Rebel T6 tips. Also, if you haven't already done so, check it out on Amazon today click that link and they, they go directly to Amazon. Another thing that you can do with email marketing is you can actually retarget them for other products. Now that they have purchased the Canon Rebel T6, you can follow up and say, hey, this is the best lens that I found. And it's a great way to keep making money on autopilot with an autoresponder and, 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 and you don't have to rely on, on YouTube. Finally, I also recommend setting up a website. Uh, so 
in the event you uh, no longer have YouTube, you no longer have the ability to use YouTube, you still have a way to reach out to your customers. To learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing, make sure that you click that first link in the description. In addition to learning everything that I know about affiliate marketing, you'll also get a free guide to email marketing. As I just mentioned, email marketing is pivotal to your success as an affiliate marketer. If you want to scale your business, you want to make more money online, you got to start email marketing today. Make sure that you do that. Just click the link below enter your email address and you'll get that free guide. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.